would like to welcome you to Be More News. What's your name? Josephine D. Leon. Okay, now what do you think, Miss Josephine, of Easterwood reopening? I think it's a wonderful idea so the children have somewhere decent to come and be taught on computers and games and whatnot to keep them out of trouble. This recreation center has been here a long time, but Yes, it has. I remember when it was built. I was right across the street. Well, we're glad it's reopened. And, and it can help save some more lives. Yes. All right. We appreciate you. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. Hey, tell me about this grand opening. We got cut off, so what's it all about? Well, this grand opening is about Omega's Uplift in Baltimore. We had a, like, uh, it's a whole community collaborative effort, total volunteer effort that the Omegas are doing to help uh, Asco East community. One of the instructors from, um, one of the instructors from Matthew Henson Elementary School, she donated a library. The, the Veterans Affairs Office of uh, uh, Information Technology they donated six, eight computers here. But more importantly, our own partner, Copper State University, donated 15 additional computers. I have a, a full-fledged computer lab in the back so we can help our kids cross the digital divide. So we're just trying to make a difference in the Asheville East community and the community God has chosen us to serve. We thank God for our councilman, Councilman Nick Mosley, because he's the one who initiated He's the one who initially announced this and gave us our initial public relations and has been our advocate. He gave you a million dollars. No, uh, he has been our advocate. I'm, down just, I'm just trying, brother. I'm just trying. Everything for us down there. He has been our biggest supporter. So thank you so much for the mother. You don't get no bigger kudos than that. This is my wreck, man. Yeah, all oh, this. I grew up here. I'm so excited. I mean, my bed was right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's been closed down for uh, quite some time, a couple years, but this is a... And this is an upwardly mobile voting community. Yes. and it's a great day. I mean, uh, you know, it, it butts right with the Matthew Henson Community Association, very active, and Doc Cheatham and, and Miss uh, Gwen, Gwen Shelton. So I'm excited to uh, open the rec, and, and this is a good day for the community. Everything starts with uh, with new beginnings, and this is a new beginning for Easterwood Rec. You just got 100,000 brownie points there, my man. This is the greatest wreck in Baltimore. I hear you. Lillian Jones, Bentlow, East Green Mount, however they wish they had Easterwood. Well, the one thing that I think that we have a huge advantage here is the green space that Easterwood has. I think we have to definitely try to leverage that more. And it's a beautiful park. And a beautiful, a beautiful so, partnership with Coppin? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, really happy with Coppin State University, specifically with the CDC and Dr. Rodwell. Um, I think we're going to really make things happen here. Thank you very much, Councilman. Thank you. Nick Mosby, right? Yes, sir. All right, right. You're watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. The Omegas are all in the house.